All right, guys, I got my package in, and I believe this is the 1,000 envelopes that I ordered. These are stamp envelopes. Now that most of our entomological supply stores are closed down, we have to figure out ways to get what we need to continue on with our beautiful hobby. So I'm going to open this sucker up and see what stamp envelopes look like and how they might be good for Lepidoptera. Let's check this out together. All right, got this thing open. Let's see, guys. All right, so it comes in a nice little cardboard box to hold them in, which is nice. Let's see. I'm just kind of undo these here. up let's see how we go all right let's see all right guys we have envelopes um these will be good for the vast majority of things i believe nice glass envelopes glassine envelopes I don't believe they have any wax on them, I don't think. So hopefully these will work good. I'm gonna try and put a bug in them. Um, guys, I ordered a thousand of these. These are these are uh, one and three fourth inch tall by two and seven eighth inch wide. So this would be a good size for most of our smaller to medium sized Lepidoptera. So I'm um, looking forward to checking those out. I paid on this guy's eBay store. This is from Hong Kong, actually. It's called Benny's Store Online <laughs> on eBay. And I paid um, $30, $37 plus like eight bucks for sales tax and shipping. So um, guys, let me know what you think. If you have a better deal somewhere that you know of on how to get glassing envelopes. I'm definitely down with that. Um, shipping is kind of what hurts you here, but because I think the 37 bucks is pretty reasonable. Um, so now I'm going to try and put a butterfly in this and see how that goes. All right, guys. So here are two butterflies that most people in North America would recognize. Obviously, there's a monarch here. I'm breeding monarchs, and this one emerged with a uh, deformed antenna and didn't do well. So taking it as a specimen and we'll give it to somebody. This is a queen butterfly that we get here down in South Florida. Um, and what, here's what I wanna do guys. I'm gonna show you how big the, you know, is this envelope the right size for these? And I would imagine that our queen butterfly is gonna fit very nicely in here. Let me, let me do this real quick, hold on a sec. Yeah, so queen fits in pretty nice. It might be, she might be a little large for that envelope. Now, I think this monarch, which is a little smaller than the normal monarch, actually, I don't think, I think this is gonna be too big for that envelope. So for the one and three fourths by two and seven eight size envelope, your queen butterfly is about as big as I would go. Um, a monarch is going to need a bigger, a larger envelope to fit. And that's just, it's just a little bit of a larger, but I guess I could probably squeeze it in there if I condense the wings. Let me try it. Okay, so if you crunch the wings a little bit, 
the Monarch does actually fit, but it's a little tight. So I'd probably go with a larger envelope for a Monarch, but that shows you that you can use even that this size envelope for a Monarch butterfly and it would still fit. You just have to crunch the wings down a little bit. So um, yeah, that, they seem to work well. And just wanted to get you guys in on this action on how to, um, how we're trying to deal with, without BioQuip. Um, I'm trying eBay from Benny's store online and getting some envelopes, glassing envelopes for my specimens. So uh, guys, hope you like this. If you have any other suggestions, um, please feel free to comment in the comment section and where you guys get your entomological supplies, including envelopes. Um, trying to build a, you know, trying to rethink how to do entomology these days uh, without bioquips. So uh, guys, thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna start filling these bad boys up and using them well. Thanks, thanks so much for watching. Take care.